In this video, I will teach you how to import Minecraft scenes into Blender and then render them. As always, it's going to be uh, quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to start off by uh, downloading a uh, Minecraft world so that we get a uh, more interesting result. So I'm going to uh, download this one. And then download it, continue. And then download. This part of the tutorial is of course optional. You do not need to uh, download a world. You can just use your own. And once the download is finished, we need to unzip the uh, file. So we we'll right click and then extract the uh, zip file. And then let's go to the unzipped folder and then go into the folder. And then we're going to uh, unzip the uh, save as well. So extract. And then go into the extracted folder. And then we need to open Minecraft to find the uh, correct folder to uh, paste this uh, folder into. Okay, and I'm using the uh, Java edition. And then we can go into the options and then resource packs and then open pack folder. And from that folder, we can find the uh, save folder. And then I'm going to uh, copy and paste the uh, save into the uh, saves folder. And then we can go back to uh, Minecraft. Done single player and then I'm going to select this world and right now it's in uh, survival so I'm going to switch the uh, game mode to uh, creative so that we can fly around and uh, make sure that everything is uh, generated before we export the uh, world into blender and I'm speeding up this part of course, the uh, further that you uh, move around in the uh, Minecraft save, the more you can import into Blender. So at this point, I think everything has been uh, generated, at least the parts that I want in the uh, scene. So uh, I'm going to uh, end it here. And then save and quit to uh, title. And then we're going to uh, download a uh, program that can convert this for us into an object file. So uh, make sure to download Mineways, which is free. And I will provide a link to it in the description. And uh, once it's done downloading, going to open the uh, file and then once we have mine ways open we can select our uh, world so uh, go to open world I'm going to select the uh, save that I just imported as you can see we have the uh, giant turtle and let's uh, select the whole thing so uh, hold in the uh, right mouse button and then drag it and then release the uh, right mouse button when you have the area that you want to select and then just click yes so that we select from the top height and the uh, lowest depth and then we can save it for rendering so uh, select a folder on your computer and find a uh, nice place to save the file and this is going to be a uh, dot obj file so uh, we can't open it in blender but we have to import it in blender okay and then you can adjust the uh, settings further if you want to i'm not going to in this case because it's a pretty basic import 
I speeded up this uh, conversion process because it takes a uh, few minutes. And once it's done, we can uh, open Blender and import it into Blender. So uh, let's start off by deleting the uh, default cube and the uh, lighting. So press X to delete. And then we're going to go into File, Import, and then import.obj. Then select the uh, file that we just created. It's under Blender. And here it is. If you selected a uh, large area, you can expect the uh, importing process to take a few minutes. At least it did so for me. And uh, let's go a bit backwards. As you can see, we need to increase the draw distance in the viewport. So press N, go into view, and I'm going to increase the end value like this. And then I'm also going to save the uh, file as a uh, blend file. So uh, let's go up to a file, save as, and then give it a name and you can save it wherever you want on the computer. And then press enter to save. And then the next step of the tutorial is to add a background image to get a uh, more interesting lighting. So uh, go to HDRI Haven where you can find free background images. And uh, then let's uh, select this one. And then let's download the 8K version. And then go back to Blender, open the world settings and environment texture. And we're going to open the HDRI that we just downloaded. And here it is, open image. And let's increase the uh, strength. Okay, and then let's go into render view to see what it looks like when it's rendered. And it's going to look significantly better when we switch to the cycles render engine. And I'm going to use the uh, GPU. If you only have a CPU, you can still just use the CPU. And then next, I'm going to make the uh, background transparent. So go to film and then uh, turn on transparent. And then you can also increase the number of samples for the render. Like this. And uh, this is what it looks like with Minecraft files inside Blender.